Hey, what's up you guys? This is Gabby and what are we gonna talk about today? In this video, we are going to answer the question, hopefully, is social work for you? A lot of people are confused about if they should study to be a social worker, if they should get their BSW or MSW, and it's because maybe they have a lack of understanding of what a social worker actually is and the type of skills or characteristics, personalities that tend to be more successful as a social worker. So hopefully this video will kind of help to give you a better understanding about that. And also I wanna say that of course, everything in this video is not 100% factual. These are just kind of my thoughts and what I've kind of observed throughout my experience working in the social work field and with other social workers. So definitely don't take this as being the gospel because it is simply just me sharing my experience and my knowledge base. You've probably heard a lot of people spewing their opinions about social work, people who only have an idea of what social work is from their favorite TV show. I just wanna say that you really have to take those opinions. I don't care if they're your, your grandmother's opinions, your mother's, your father's, your best friends. You have to take these opinions with a grain of salt because there is a huge misconception out there about what social work is and that may taint people's views and perspectives about their opinions about the field. Social work as a field needs a revamp because the field is very old and I think it has changed so much, but a lot of people don't really know what those changes are. Or they may still think that social work is what it used to be a hundred years ago. With time and with the change of our culture and society, the field has changed as well, but people's ideas and insights on what social work is have not kept up with the reality of what you know social workers actually are i think it really does take a special type of person to be a social worker and when i say this i don't mean that you know you have to be mother Teresa as a social worker i think that's this big you know misconception that people have they believe that all social workers have to be super selfless and altruistic and just put their needs aside completely because of the benefit they want to have on society. So I've had people tell me like, wow, you're a social worker. You, you must be such an amazing person. You must be so altruistic and just ever giving and just free flowing with love and you know care for society. And although I do like to see myself as being a caring person, a person who minds their society. However, I'm not Mother Teresa. I'm not perfect. And I don't think you need to be perfect to be a social worker. And you don't have to just put all of your needs aside to be a social worker. And also for me, I actually get something out of studying social work and you know, studying community development and researching people and the growth of communities as well the study of individuals and how people are affected by certain changes in society is interesting. So although I am in the field because I want to help people and I want to help to advance society, I'm also in the field because I get something out of it as well. I feel like the study of people, which is so complex and you know, it's, it's interesting because it's so complicated, and the study of how people interact in groups to me, it's just something that like really piques my curiosity and my interest. Me as a macro social worker, I look at communities and societies the same way I think a doctor would look at the human body. Um, there's so many pieces and parts that come together that make cities and there's so many things that can go wrong and there's also a lot of ways to build the health of communities and of cities and you have to do a lot of detective work and research in order to figure out what that is so we don't expect doctors to be these perfect ever giving altruistic tree hugging people but sometimes i feel like people have the perspective or the image of social workers as this type of person so people who are considering social work but maybe you don't see yourself as being that perfect you know mother Teresa social work type we need an eclectic of different personalities in the field of social work we need people of course who are very you know in tune with individuals and who are super 
giving and empathetic and we also need people who are going to work on the other side of things and who are going to approach things very melodically very systematically you know with numbers in mind there is no one personality of a social worker and although i think it takes a special person to do social work i don't think you have to be a perfect saint in order to excel in this field but I think you do have to be the type of person who sees issues and who have the motivation and passion to want to change those issues, specifically issues that are affecting um, oppressed people and societies. And I know millennials specifically, we are the generation who wants to give back and we want to have a job that is meaningful. And I know because of this, because of the DNA of millennials, a lot of us may be interested in studying social work but there are other ways to give back and to make a difference than just becoming a social worker so this is not the only option and i don't want people to feel like oh, this is the only pathway they have to go down in order to have a meaningful career because I, I just don't think this career is for everyone. For example, you can study business and do something similar to what I do inside of corporations and do corporate social responsibility. Or you could just you know, work in finance or another field that is not social work and spend your outside time volunteering or you know, being involved in different community initiatives. Or you can have the goal of being a business mongle and making a whole whole bunch of money and one day having your own philanthropy or foundation and donating the money to causes so there's so many other ways to make an impact outside of studying and becoming a social worker and i think some people may have an interest in studying social work but you may not really be very culturally competent or you may not be interested in working so directly with people in need. As a social worker, you have to do a lot of on the ground work. You have to put yourself in positions and environments that you may not be used to, that you may see as being very, very uncomfortable because you're surrounded by people that you have never had to surround yourself with in the past. As a social worker, you may have to go into neighborhoods and communities that most people may see as being dangerous and areas that they should never visit. But when you're doing direct practice, maybe you have to do home visits or if you're doing a more macro level social work like myself, you may have to visit a nonprofit partner who has a location that's in one of these neighborhoods. You just have to be comfortable putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and working with people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different ways of doing things and working in areas that other people may deem as being no go zones and also if you want to be a social worker you have to i think be very very creative be creative about funding you're often going to be in situations where you have to raise funding for programs that can assist the population that you're working with and how can you do that in a creative way I think times are changing, and I made a video about this in the past, but social workers and other people who work in this space, in the helping space, need to think of other ways to raise money, such as creating products and selling those and putting the profits back into the nonprofit. There's so many other creative ways to continue funding for community causes, and I think Social workers really need to be individuals who are able to think outside of the box and encourage nonprofits specifically to look into other ways of generating revenue for their programs and for operational cost. You also have to be a creative person because oftentimes as social workers, you're going to be expected to make magic with a limited amount of resources. So you have to be very resourceful and you have to be creative. And another reason I feel like a social worker will excel if they have a creative personality is because our field is changing as i mentioned before you know this field is very old and we are quickly changing and kind of rebranding ourselves building on our skill sets and our perspective in a way that can help us to keep up with the changing time so like for example i am a corporate social worker 20, 30 years ago, you would have never heard of a corporate social worker. School social work wasn't a thing, you know, several years ago. This is something that we found to be a need, but it wasn't always something we recognized. So I think 
being in the social work profession during a time when such change is happening in our society takes someone who's going to be creative and going to help to lead the field in the direction that it needs to go in so that they can keep up with the times and continue doing the work that we love to do as social workers. So that's something really cool. If you are someone who is looking to enter into the social work field, you're coming at a great time where you can really help to redefine what social work is and the type of work that we do. It does take some creativity because if you're trying to just continue on and do social work in the old ways and in the ways that has always been done, I think it's going to be a detriment to both yourself as well as the populations that you're hoping to serve. And even social work programs have caught up on this and have started to change their curriculum based on the changing time. So now you have classes such as social entrepreneurship and the business of social work, you know, classes that connect business and social work in order to make sure that a social worker has financial savviness. I think this change is important and newer social workers who are entering in the field have to understand that right now, you know, things are not as black and white and they just have to be open to being on the ride as we kind of grow and morph as a profession. And I don't think social workers are the only professionals who are embarking on this change and growth in their field. I think things are just so much different than they used to be and we're all kind of, you know, trying to keep up with the times. And also, I think there's a certain mindset that anyone who's interested in studying social work should have. For example, I think you should have a growth mindset. And what is a growth mindset? Having a growth mindset means that you are open to changing and taking in new information to further develop how you see the world. Um, someone who is open to having different paradigm shifts every now and then depending on the situations they go through and what they learn and the new information that they gather through just living life. Someone with a growth mindset is someone who is open to changing their assumptions and even if at one point they were very set in stone about a certain opinion that they had, having a growth mindset means that you have to be open to shifting and changing your opinions as you meet new people, have different experiences, and take in new knowledge and information from the world around you. And also, to be a good social worker, you have to look at things from the strength-based perspective. And this is something you'll learn through your BSW and MSW program and education, but a strength-based perspective means that you can look at a situation that other people may see as being depressing or negative, and you can actually spot the positives and benefits of that situation. So I'll give an example. Maybe you're working with a client who is living on the streets, she has some health issues, you know, she's struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder from a situation she's had in the past, and other people may walk past her when she's on the street and say, oh my God, wow, her life is just horrible, there's nothing going well with her, she is just going through hard times. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you may realize that although she is you know, struggling with some mental health issues and living on the street, she may have a community of friends who she can rely on and really help her to feel as if she belongs and as if she matters. This is definitely a positive because there are a lot of people, even rich people who you may look at and say, oh, they have it all. They may not even have this strong support system of friends. This is something that is a positive and if you are a social worker who has a strength-based perspective, you can help her to capitalize on this as a way to advance herself. So are you someone who is always negative about things and you have a hard time seeing the beauty and the positive in life? If so, I don't know, social work may be a stretch for you because being in this field really does take someone who's able to see the small wins or the small beauties in life when other people may miss it. Also, I think in order to be a social worker, you have to have a lot of perseverance and you have to be the type of person who does not give up easily because when you're working with oppressed populations, when you're working with 
minority populations, people who are struggling with different issues in life. You are also working against a system who does not believe in this population of people and who don't support them. Oftentimes people may feel that individuals in the welfare system are lazy or not worth putting resources and time into and that these type of people are not worth believing in because hey they're not going to change so you really do have to like fight on behalf of these people and, and try to prove to people that yes they are worth pouring resources into and they are worth supporting so this is something you may have to fight against every day as a social worker so Having perseverance is very, very important in this field. So anyways, there are so many things I could say on this topic. I think social work really does take, as I mentioned before, a special type of person. As a whole, I would say that it's a great time to join the social work field because it's an exciting time. Things are changing and because of that, I feel like our field is changing for the better. Also, it's a field that will always be in demand. I mean, there's always gonna be people in need, so there's always going to be people who are hired in different capacities to support individuals in need. It's the type of field that you really feel that you're making a difference in. It's very rewarding. You're working directly with people and often you get to see people go from point A to point B and it's amazing to see. It's amazing to be a part of and to support someone in such transformative change and personal growth. And if you're interested in doing more macro social work, I think it's great to be able to be a part of implementing a project or an initiative and then a year later looking back and saying, wow, you know, we were able to help 500 people, 1,000 people, 10,000 people with changing their lives because of this initiative. So yeah, I really couldn't see myself doing anything outside of social work. I have a lot of interest and you know, I'm a very curious person. I'm curious about a lot of different fields, but social work is really the field for me. So no matter what I do in the future, no matter how much I steer away from traditional social work, I think I'll always utilize social work practices and you know, the, the mindset that I've gained during my social work training to approach the work that I do. Well, I totally recommend social work, but definitely keep in consideration the points I made in this video and just ask yourself, am I a creative person? Am I resourceful? Am I open to change and growth? You know, after your research and after watching videos like this, if you find that social work is still the path for you, good luck and I wish you the best on your social work journey. And I hope your experience becoming a social worker is a transformative one. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any comments or thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.